Hello and welcome to dome steading. <clears throat> what is dome steading? Well, uh, it is a solar punk approach to homesteading. If you're not too familiar with solar punk, go check that out. Um, quick, Google, uh, quick web search will uh, we'll get you a lot of good resources. There's a great uh, subreddit, lots of good articles out there. But basically, uh, the idea that an optimistic idea of what our future can look like when we live in harmony with the earth and the people around us. Um, so yeah, Lopunk is great, and I'm going to apply it practically and start homesteading. Uh, so first, you'll see we've got some land and an RV. Uh, I've already got an RV. It's a good way to get us out on the land. Um, we're going to start camping next week um, during spring break to see how much work we can get done. So the first thing we're going to build is a spa. <clears throat> and the first thing we do there is dig up the footprint, uh, get down some tamped gravel um, to provide the foundation for an earthen floor that will go in there. Then we can put a dome on top. And that dome is going to be uh, an Ecodome 22-foot kit. I purchased that a while ago before I knew exactly what I was going to build with it. You know, I wanted to build domes, um, and we've got it, and now knowing exactly how big it is, how things fit inside it, and what our family needs, uh, that'll be the first thing, building a spa. Um, I already got the frame, like I mentioned. I do not have the panels just yet, and I either have to build or acquire those. Um, Ecodome does have pre-cut panels, and I've got an order sitting if I can get the funds uh, to go ahead and get this thing covered. Uh, from there, we can start building up on the inside. So we've got a earth bag construction here that will act as thermal mass and privacy shelving, holding the plumbing. Then we will have around the outside a biogas system. And that biogas system acts like a stomach for the spa, um, replacing a septic tank. Uh, so it will take the waste from your toilet and pipes it in here and turns it into um, two things. One, a methane that we can cook with and a liquid effluent that we will use to grow our textiles. So here we have loofah, cotton, and bamboo. Uh, things that you're using in your spa. Uh, you know, loofah is great for sponges, for scrubbing. Uh, bamboo, I'm hoping we can dry it out and put it into the rocket mass heater. And cotton, great for, you know, clothes, um, rags, scrubbing, things like that. Um, <clears throat> so what else have we have showing up here? We've got a uh, shower, uh, the bath, it's a lovely flower pot here, things that you might want to throw in the bath. Um, flower petals, chamomile, roses, lavender, things like that. Also got an herb wall over here. Think of things you might want to use to help heal yourself. Lemon balm, aloe vera, mint. We've got a drying rack over here. Dry out your textiles, dry out your clothes. And I mentioned the rocket mass heater. Let's go ahead and show that. Um, this, I had... <clears throat> exact design will probably adapt a little bit but the concept is that you feed it with wood or dried bamboo uh, and it has a very efficient burn cycle it burns not only the uh, physical stuff but the gas that comes off of it as well so you get a very efficient burn heating this mass and heating your water whenever the sun is not shining so we'll have to get that built to before the uh, late fall before it gets too cold um, so yeah, that's the uh, the spa where we're starting, and then from there we will be adding on a kitchen dome. A few big differences: one, you'll see that it's bigger. Um, <clears throat> be using instead of a 22 foot eco dome kit, I would really like to try Trillium Dome's 30 foot uh, dome, and that one uh, doesn't need any custom joinery. Uh, no hubs, it's all wood. Um, so much more DIYable and fits in with my longer term plans better. 
<clears throat> so inside that, a lot of the same things that you see in the spa dome, but adapted to be a kitchen dining area. So uh, we still have the earth bag construction to act as thermal mats, shelving, plumbing. Um, we've got the biogas still, but instead of having to go into a textile bed, it can go right into your uh, things you want to grow. So here we've got tomato, beans, okra, peppers. Uh, on this side we've got an herb wall, um, anything you might want to cook with. So yeah, the output from the biogas can go directly to those plants. Uh, liquid fertilizer, as well as a cooking methane that uh, will have a few uh, methane burners over here for cooking in the summer when it's really hot, you want to fire up the rocket mass heater. Um, <clears throat> and then let's see what else we have in here. We've got, of course, things you'd expect to see in the kitchen, your pantry, your shelving, utensils, things like that. Um, this chute over here goes right into the biogas. So you rinse your vegetables, fruits, chop them up, uh, all your scraps go right in there, um, feeding the rest of your plants. Uh, I mentioned the rocket mass heater, so in addition to you know, heating the, the mass around the edge here, you can also heat your oven, some extra cooking surfaces. And then one thing that's easy to miss is the refrigerator. Uh, I did not design this, but it's very cool and that I've seen work in a, a circular dome kitchen area before. Um, we know that cold air sinks and warm air rises. So uh, instead of opening a box and having all of your cold air spill out, uh, your cold air stays down in the bottom. You lift your food up out of it with hydraulics and uh, you know, get what you need out of it. Get your condiments, cheeses, drinks, whatever might be in there. And when you're done, it just goes back down and could have a spice rack, Lazy Susan style thing on top for anything you might want accessible from the dining table. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> so um, I mentioned a few of the materials we're using. Um, the goal is to use as much recycled and natural materials as possible. Um, I might take a shortcut on the spa dome, the first spa dome, and go ahead and buy the pre-cut panels from EcoDome because their panels uh, are an interesting cut. They require a lot of cuts to get to the right shape. Um, but on the kitchen dome, with the Trillium dome, I really want to experiment with making our own uh, as much as possible. So uh, over here, this would be like tunnel polycarbonate for most of it, like they use in greenhouses. And then the compar comparison over here would be like um, melting down plastics into a mold uh, that would fit inside these frames. Um, the bottom tier, I'm hoping to do sandwich panels with metal, um, recycling a lot of the industrial ag agriculture buildings that are falling down around here in the Ozarks. Uh, just go ask, say, hey, can I clean up your mess and recycle your metal? So cut those into the right shape, uh, put some insulation material in the middle, and those are good to go. Um, one more thing we're going to be doing before it gets too hot, so probably actually, probably before this is completely done, and definitely before we start on this, uh, putting a box around our RV. You know, protect the RV from the worst of the summer months, uh, keep it a little bit cooler, keep it from all the sun damage and also put some solar panels and uh, potentially solar water heater up here as well. Um, <clears throat> and then from here, we've got a few things uh, still kind of in design and flux, not too sure what we're going to do, but we're gonna upgrading our sleeping situation. That could mean finishing this box, um, you know, putting walls around it, turning it into our sleeping family area. Uh, we might also consider building our own sleeping domes. And if GeoShip is ready to start shipping and building their domes, that would be really cool. I'd love to have a couple of GeoShip domes complement these domes. Um, and then one other dome, I don't have a spa dome over here, a little bit bigger than this one um, for the adults. And then the kids will have their own four kids here and two adults 
here, and those would attach to the sleeping quarters. Um, yeah, so that's that's the gist of what we're building towards. I'm sure a lot of it will adapt over time as we get uh, experience on the ground and actually building this thing. Um, the hope is that we have something built out of recycled natural materials, captures the sun's energy and uses that for as much as possible. It's free, right? Um, both for heating, for lighting, uh, and then you know a few solar panels for le minimal electronics. Um, and if all of this works, I'm hoping to not only document it on YouTube as we go, um, but eventually publish plans to whatever open source projects will have them. That could be open source ecology, one community global uh, projects like that. <clears throat> Um, so yeah, if you like what we're doing, uh, there will be a link to a GoFundMe, so I'll have some materials to acquire, and the more I can raise, the more time I can spend on this project, uh, instead of having to, you know, support my family. So, um, yeah, the hope is we get this built to lower our cost of living from here, if it all works. Um, I'll also, like when the weather's not great, I'll be working on an open village simulator, uh, being able to take these models and open models like straw bale homes and earth bag domes and things like that, and um, create eco-villages in our region. Um, if you want to know more about that, I'll have a link in the description to my blog as well. So that's all way out in the future. We've got a lot to do before we get there. One last thing uh, before I wrap up. Um, I want to give credit to my lovely girlfriend, uh, Victoria, who helped bring a lot of this to life in Blender here. Um, I've got a lot of crazy ideas. Um, she believes in me and wants to see it happen. Um, so all of the, like the plants and the um, a lot of the details that really brings this thing to life, she's helped model those um, from scratch a lot of the time. So thank you, Victoria, for that. Thank you for your support. Um, yeah, drop a comment, um, if you'd like to see more, like, subscribe, check out our GoFundMe, uh, thank you for listening, and hopefully we'll have an update for you on what we get done uh, during spring break.